Good morning, class. Today is Tuesday, April the 7th. And I think that the article that we're supposed to read in Super Magazine is Lost at Sea. It's funny how they turn the page, so I have to turn the book like this. Searching for a sunken treasure. Remember when we had that word for a vocabulary word? That's one of our words this week, treasure. So let's read it together. Go get this super magazine. Now I did send you another super magazine, but that's not for this week. We're still reading this one. So, you could read it with me or just listen. For hundreds of years, ships were the only way of moving cargo across the ocean. Ships sailed all around the world, often with loads of gold, silver, and jewels. But traveling through the ocean was risky. Hurricanes could strike without warning. Pirates or enemy ships could attack. Rocks, coral reefs, and even icebergs could poke holes in ships. If disaster struck, the ships sank, taking the treasure down with them. Tons, that's a lot, tons of treasure from these wrecked ships lie at the bottom of the ocean. Many explorers have searched for the lost treasure. Sometimes, they have struck gold, but the ocean is so big that treasure hunters may go for years without finding a thing. Turn the page to find some treasure that has been found and some treasure that still waits for a lucky explorer to find it. Well, on this page, it has all the different kinds of treasure that was found. The oldest shipwreck. Hmm. About the ship. A ship sank thousands of years ago near the country of Turkey. No one knows the name of the ship. It's one of the oldest shipwrecks ever found. What happened? Bad weather and rocky shores probably caused it to sink. The ship held gold and silver jewelry, bars of copper, and elephant tusks. It even held the world's oldest known book. Who found it? About 20 years ago, a diver saw some strange metal objects under the sea. A team went down to find more they found the ancient treasure. That's right here at the top of the page. The next one is called the Atacha. About the ship, more than 350 years ago, the Atacha was a Spanish treasure ship. A hurricane hit sending the ship crashing into the rocks near Florida. Hey, I used to live in Florida. There were gold and silver coins, chains and bars. There were also lots of sparkling green emeralds. Who found it? A determined diver and his team searched the ocean for 16 years before they found the treasure. It was worth millions. That's that row right there. Millions of dollars. Next, the fleet of 11 ships. About the ships. The ships were traveling in Spain, traveling to Spain almost 300 years ago. A hurricane hit when they were off the coast of Florida. 
Lots of hurricanes hit Florida every year. Lots of gold and silver were on board, including many valuable coins and emerald jewelry. Who found them? A man started finding coins on the beach. Then he found one of the wrecked ships under the sea. He found seven more wrecks with treasure worth millions of dollars. And at the bottom of the page, the, Ho the Hoosier. The Hoosier sailed from England to the United States more than 200 years ago. When it got to New York City, the ship struck a reef in the East River and sank. What was on it? Tress, ch chest full of silver and gold. Who found it? Only the anchor has been found so far. The rest of the treasure is still buried under the muck and trash at the bottom of the river. Will it ever be uncovered? I don't know. Who would want to dive down at the bottom of the river through all that gunk and trash? Well, that's all of that article for today. See if you have a practice page to go with that and answer the questions on that page. See you later.